not one or two, but six successful military coups in Africa since 2020. The most recent happened in Burkina Faso, which makes it the fourth in the West African region. Different coups have occurred in Chad, Guinea, Sudan, and twice in Mali. What are the causes of the coup? How does it affect Nigeria and Africa? And why should you be concerned about it? I will be discussing that in this video. Welcome to Premium Times of the Go. I am Titi Lopwe Fadari. On January 23, 2022, the military government in Burkina Faso took over power in the country. And the reason given was that the elected government lacked the ability to tackle Islamic terror groups. This is aside rising poverty and over 1 million displaced during the tenure of the deposed president, Rok Kabore. Another coup that occurred within the region took place in August 2020, when Mali's then president, Ibrahim Keita, resigned after he, the country's prime minister, and key cabinet members were detained by mutinous military officers. The soldiers arrested the president following months of mass protests against allegations of corruption, contested legislative elections, and deteriorating security in Mali. After pressure from West African neighbors, the Malian colonels agreed to secede power to a civilian interim government to oversee an 18-month transition but this arrangement was disrupted as the coup leaders clashed with the interim president and engineered a second coup in May 2021. In Chad, the army took over in April 2021 after the then president, Idris Deby, was killed while visiting Chadian troops fighting rebels in the north. A military council dissolved the parliament, indicating they wanted to ensure stability. The former president's son, General Mohamed Deby, was named interim president. In September 2021, the Special Forces Commander, Colonel Mamadi Dumbuya, led a coup against the then president of Guinea, Alpha Kunde, because of poverty and corruption. Although when Dumbuya became interim president, he promised a transition to democratic elections, but he has not said when those will take place. Now, why should you be concerned about this coup? With these highlighted coups, security experts, researchers and world organizations are worried about a suspected regression to authoritarianism in Africa. On the flip side, there are also worries on how the citizens in these countries jubilated over the fall of democracy an embrace of military rule. For security experts like Cheta Omaze, he noted that the possibility of a replication in Nigeria is high due to mass disaffection for the government, insecurity, inflation, corruption, among many others. Wilson Ejide, a retired colonel, fears that the Nigerian military is towing the path of Mali or Burkina Faso. Before moving further, I will share two top stories that occurred this week. killing and kidnapping of a five-year-old pupil, Hanifa Abubaka, by her teacher, Abdul Malik Tanko, in Kano State, who has now been arrested. Consequently, angry youth set ablaze the school while the state government shut down all private schools in the state. Secondly, three Nigerians made the Forbes 2022 top 10 list of richest people in Africa. One is Mike Adenuga with $6.7 billion at 6th position, Abdu Samad Rabiu with $7 billion at 5th position, and Aliko Dangote with $13.9 billion coming first on the list. With the earlier mentioned coup in West Africa, how do you feel it will affect Nigeria's democracy? Are you concerned? And what are the solutions that you prefer? Let us know in the comment section.